How's it going everyone? Bear here from Steel Series, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up two point actuation on your Apex keyboard. Now, dual actuation is not only gonna work on the 2023 version of the full size Apex Pro and the TKL versions, but also the mini wired and mini wireless. And this also includes the legacy editions of the full size and the Pro TKL. Now, our first step is to make sure your device is fully up to date. Go ahead and open up the SteelSeries GG app. If you don't have that downloaded, you can download it for free on our website, steelseries.com forward slash GG. Once you have that downloaded, go ahead and plug your keyboard into your PC and open up the app. Head over to the engine tab on the left-hand side and look for your device. If there's a banner that says critical update is needed, go ahead and click it and follow the steps. If you don't see that banner, then your device is already fully up to date. Go ahead and click your device and then select the actuation tab at the top. Now you can set the actuation for any of the following highlighted keys. You can select them all at once if you're gonna have them at the same actuation, or you can specifically select individual keys and set their actuations at different points. Now once you have your key selected, you can set the actuation on the left hand side. You can see the switch and if you pull this lever up and down, you can set the actuation from anywhere from 0 0.02 to 3.8. So for this example, say we want to set the first actuation at 1.8, you can pull this lever down to 1.8 or you can type it right above the switch. Then once you have that done, go ahead and select the dual actuation tab at the top. Again, select the keys that you want to apply this to and then set your second actuation point. For this example, we're going to go all the way down to 3.8. Finally, you're going to want to select the dual bindings tab at the top. Go ahead and click one of the keys showing and you'll get this drop down menu. Go ahead and select keyboard buttons and you can go through each of these drop down menus to apply the dual actuation for whatever keys you want. So say you want it for WASD, you can go ahead and select each of those individually. And once you have all your buttons selected, go ahead and press save and you're all set. Hope this video has helped you guys out. Happy gaming and for glory.